You think this hat makes me look like a little kid? Yeah. What if I wear it backwards? No, I just look like a, like a frat kid. Hello. Welcome to our vlog. We are Iowa City Apparel. Welcome to our next episode of T-Shirt Talks. Today we are going to be talking about our future. Uh, things we did this past summer for jobs and how we see our life going. Still pressing some uh, TTK shirts. So we got uh, more TTK shirts to do. A lot of orders coming in. Uh, trying to get them out as quick as we can. So to kick things off, uh, I think I'm going to let Jack talk about... Um, <laughs> if he's if he's alive at the end of this, you can go first. I can go first. Yeah. All right. Um. So this last summer, I went to Washington D.C. Go Nats, baby! World Series champs. Let's hear it. And interned in their sales and service department. I did a lot of different things, including bringing clients on the field for batting practice. So I got to see. Um, people like Nolan Arenado take BP, uh, Bryce Harper take BP, and all the Nats, obviously, a couple times. It was such a good time that I dropped my human health and phys major and just majoring in SRM now. Are you throwing up? Hairball. Hairball. So we had a 10-game homestand where we were at the field for <laughs> over 100 hours, probably like close to 100. 15, 20, something like that, in just 10 days. And after that, our boss is like, you know what? We don't want to see you for, you know, a couple days. The series or the homestand ended on a Wednesday. He said, we don't want to see you till Monday. So we went all the way out to New York City. I uh, had an interview with the New York Mets, which was cool out there. And then we went out with the entire Mets sales staff uh, at this karaoke bar, which was incredible. We had, let's just say we had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, then went to a Yankees Sox, Yankees Red Sox double header in the same day. And I was so hungover that I did not utilize my free beer. Which like doesn't which happen often. It's not a thing for Tanner. No. Free beer, there's nothing better. There's two types of good beer. You wanna take a guess at what they are? There's good beer and free beer. No. There's two types of good beer. Well one of them's free beer. What's the other one? Miller Light. Cold. <laughs> Free beer and cold beer are the best two types. <laughs> Fun fact, my roommate Blake Wilshire, shout out Blake Wilshire, also did not utilize his free beer because he was so hungover. Incredible day, really. So, what uh, what do you want to do when, when you grow up? What do I want to do when I grow up? Well, this summer, I worked back home in Chicago. And how's Chicago? You know, I like Chicago. It's home. I feel like I've been there my whole life, and I want to see something different. Um, Probably because prettier girls is what he means. Chicago is just like not as pretty. Well, girls. listen, I lived at home. I wasn't seeing a lot of pretty like. Oh, for a whole ton of those. I, uh, you know, wasn't going out that much. You know? Which, for Jack, not good. If he's not going out, he's not having a good time. Yeah, he he got my upset calls in the summer. I worked for JLL, which is the biggest commercial real estate company in the world, which is cool, it's a great place to work. I think, I worked there for the past two summers. The first summer I was just completely in shock of the 9 to 5 work life. Because, because here in college we don't do 9 to 5. No, we do like two hours a day. Oh, that didn't go well. And it was, it was a good experience, it got me into the business, and I think the hardest part was honestly the commute. I live like 40 minutes outside of the city, so I took the train down every day, and it was an hour train ride and a half hour walk to work, so I was a three hour commute every day. It just made me realize that I don't want to sit at a desk my whole life. The work was cool, and the job was cool, so what we did was we took basically a huge company they would Did this help you with t-shirt pressing? No. Big companies like Walgreens took their office building, and we would sell it and lease it back to them so that they could get more money to put back into their business. Um, which was kind of cool just to see like big companies that you didn't think were involved in real estate that ended up being pretty involved in real estate. So I mean, I oh, liked all the people I worked with. Everyone was great. I just can't see myself sitting at a desk all day. As and you can tell, he's very enthused about the city of Chicago. 
listen, I like Chicago, and I just need to see somewhere else before I decide if I want to go back there or not. That's fair. I'm I... perfectly okay with going to another city and hating it as long as I can see somewhere. You know, I feel like I've been there my whole life. I haven't been able to get out and see many places besides when I'm traveling. So I don't know what it's like to live somewhere else. The only thing you really see is people on TV that live places. Like, I also think it's incredible to see new places because you see new cultures. Yeah. Here in D.C., I saw an entire different culture that I've seen my entire life. And I think that's awesome to see yeah. different cultures. I obviously want to stay in real estate. I just want to go somewhere else. My dream. What's your dream job? Beer taster. <laughs> you literally get paid to taste beer. Yeah, but how much? Like, I need, like, at least $7 a day. Actually, no, probably, like, 15 Because, like, some burgers you need fries with it. You know, like, you can be okay with a burger here and there, but, like, sometimes you actually need fries with it. Kids might need to eat, too. Oh, if I'm having kids, and yeah, I probably... Just gonna take McDonald's every day? Well, yeah, dude, McDonald's has great food. I actually haven't eaten Mac McDonald's in a hot sec. Real talk, though, I probably need, like... Just a little bit of money to get by, and I want a cute house, probably white. Whatever my wife wants, really, I'm not really picky. She can pick everything. A white house? You want to live in the White House? No, the White House sucks, dude. It's the worst thing in the world. I was at the White House a Tanner. couple times. It's on the press. No, it's not. Well, Tanner's salary keeps going down because what of these stretches that. Please tell me it was a liar. So, as we talk, and I say that I don't need a lot of money, it's really evident because all of these shirts are coming out of my paycheck. <laughs> no, um, you, really, you really don't need a lot of money. No, I really don't. You're I think... Just that kind of person. Yeah. I need, like, a decent house, enough money to have a couple drinks here and there, and then basically whatever my wife wants in the house she can have. I just need a man cave where I have a big screen TV and I can watch football. That's it. That's all I need. What do you need when you're older? Probably more than that. I also think it is whatever your wife wants. But I have a strange feeling my wife's gonna want a lot. How do you feel about that? Jack's taste in women is so expensive. Like, people are like, oh, what's your taste in women? And he's like, oh, you know, I, I like, you know, most people are like, I like blondes and I like that they're athletic and kind and smart and I funny. I said that too. That is not on the I'm press. not putting the whole print on there. And Jack is like, I need someone that's going to cause a lot of problems. <laughs> that's what he needs in life. Uh, like, high-end Chicago from the suburbs type of girl that he wants. I'm not, like, dissing anybody. That's just... No, that's just, you know, this is the real shocker. Ready for this? I want six children. Six little minions running around. So, anyone that marries me is going to have to be okay with that first. You know what? Six kids is a lot of kids I hope you know what you're getting into. You're gonna know them. I'm gonna be the crazy uncle. And I'm really okay with that. I don't have enough siblings or probably Family relatives, members. so you're probably gonna be one of their godparents. Whoa! Gonna te so while that's out there, I'm a very strong Lutheran. Jack's a very strong Catholic. So that's all we're gonna say about that. We like Jesus. We love Jesus here. Look at this is how much we love Jesus. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. Um, yeah, six kids though. I want to know what people think about that because that's crazy to me. So you know, I have a, I just have a, you know, my dream job is, is in Cali. Yep, living in probably LA. Building. I want to be a real estate developer. So I want to be the person that builds those like 40, 50, 60, 100 plus million dollar houses. I think that is the coolest thing to see something go from the ground up and see it from start to finish. I really enjoy real estate. I could, if you know what, if a girl wanted to take me on a first date and she just wanted to go look at houses, that'd be a great first date. But Imagine if they had houses, if she wants to take you to look at houses, but they were with Christmas lights. Would you marry her on the spot or? I love Christmas lights. I think cozy houses are cooler. I don't think I need, you know, a people's foyers that are 3,000 square feet. Okay, if you have a house like that too, do you know where your family is at all time? Like, how can you spend family time if, like, you have to call them to tell them Listen, to come to dinner? It's yeah, not. but, like, if your house is that big and you don't know where the upstairs is, you have to call your kids, like, hey, kids, time for dinner. Please well, take your car over here. You have, like, an intercom system in your house that calls each room. Oh, now I get it. You haven't said what your dream job is. You just said you want a wife. My dream job is getting a wife. Listen, the saying happy wife, happy life so true, like, 
I don't need anything. All right, we got a bunch of t-shirts done. We're gonna keep pressing. We're just not gonna use this camera because we feel like we're using a lot of Natalie's footage. So we got all these TTK shirts. This is what we have to do yet. Also got blends order done. 